Today, let's talk about the expanded algorithm for multiplication. Uh, if you have not yet watched the partial products video, I encourage you to stop this video right now, go back and watch that one first, and it will really help you understand um, the things that we're going to talk about today. First, let's get started with 37 times 3. You know, in partial products, when we draw an area model, uh, for this problem, it would look like this. Uh, 3 times 37, which is 30, plus 7. And we divide this into 30 times 3, and 7 times 3. And we would solve these uh, two problems and add them together to get the whole product. I want you to see that the expanded algorithm is very much the same thing. Let's take a look. The first step in the expanded algorithm is to look at the ones here. Here, it's asking us to multiply 7 times 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. You can see that over here on the area model. 7 times 3 is 21. Now, the next thing that we look at is uh, the tens place. And over here in the tens place, we have a 3. But because this is the expanded algorithm, we're thinking of this 37 as 30 plus 7 in expanded form. So now we're going to multiply 30 times 3. 30 times 3 is 90, which if you look over here at our area model, we would have done 30 times 3 here is 90. If you notice, these match as well as this partial product matches. They both show up. And remember, when we're doing this area model over here, our last step is to add the two partial products, 90 plus 21, to get the final answer. And 90 plus 21 equals 111. Well, that same last step has to happen over in the expanded algorithm. We take these two numbers and we add them together. And we get the same answer, 111. So when you're doing the expanded algorithm, I really just want you to think about the numbers in expanded form. And if you need to, to help, you can always draw an area model showing those partial products. Let's try another one, 84 times 5. 80 plus 4. 5 is already in expanded form because it only has a value in the ones place. Now we know in this box that would be 80 times 5, and in this box that would be 4 times 5. Okay, uh, first uh, let's complete this area model over here. 80 times 5 is 400, and 4 times 5 is 20. Now if we go over to our um, algorithm, let's see how this lines up. Remember, I'm thinking of 84 as 80 plus 4, okay? So, 4 times 5 is 20, so I write 20. Now, remember this 8 is actually 80, so I'm going to do 5 times 80, which is 400. This is really important uh, down here that you're making sure that you keep your ones, tens, and hundreds lined up. Okay? Zero plus zero is zero, then two, then four. And if you come over here, you see that you have the exact same partial products, 420. And if you added those together over here, they would also equal the product of 420. This time, uh, I want to try uh, the algorithm without drawing uh, the area model. Remember, because it's expanded algorithm, I'm thinking of this 64 as 60 plus 4. 
and the four is still just a four, okay? So let's get started with our ones. Four times four is 16. Next, four times 60 is 240. My last step is to add the two partial products. And that's where I get my answer, 256. Now I've given you uh, three problems to try on your own. And if you need help, just rerun the video and start again and you will get it. The key to the expanded algorithm is thinking of all numbers in expanded form. Remember, sometimes it helps to draw an area model if you still need that support. I think you're going to do great. Good luck.